Drew Schrenderman is one of the best and he is the special projects editor and he had the idea of highlighting a special black alumni. Honestly, I just wanted to shine a light on you know our incredible black alumni that we have here. So what we're doing is a daily tweet and it's in our pinned tweet, there's a thread, and each day we're highlighting a black alum from USC who was a pioneer in their field. Shonda Rhimes goes to USC. Ryan Coogler just directed the movie of the year so far, Black Panther, and he's from here as well. Paul Revere Williams, who is like a famous African-American architect in Los Angeles, to, you know, the first black student at USC. A lot of the alumni we know are the big ones whose names are newspapers and magazines every single day. But there are plenty of other um, black alumni who aren't necessarily famous, but are certainly um, very accomplished and distinguished. We always say that USC breeds the best, so let's prove it. And the best doesn't look the same throughout. You know, it has different hair textures, it has different skin colors, it has different body types. If I were to be frank, like black people are awesome. And I really got to see that when I was going through this thread. This was something that I never wanted to do myself, you know, because um, as a white and Latino person, you know, I'm. this wasn't a story, you know, just for me to tell. He came to me and JT and Haran and said, hey, you know, I want you guys to work on the project with us. Not only because you're black, but because you're someone who I think could really add to this uh, project. I was like, yeah, get me on board. Originally, I was a little worried that as a black journalist in the media center that I was asked to be a part of the project or it was thought of, hey, ask, you know, Judy will be a part of this project because she's a black woman and she's, you know, a black culture savant and she'll be able to work with this and make sure this is like, you know, it sounds right. It's not offensive or anything like that. I felt at first like I could see how that might be tokenism. People feared about the tone of these tweets and not coming off uh, as like Annenberg Media got a black friend and this black friend is making Annenberg Media quote unquote woke. But then I realized how important it is that I am a part of this. Because there's certain things that we get that maybe Drew doesn't or there's certain things that we get that maybe others wouldn't because we are literally black, you know, so. I think someone who's black is going to pick up on those cultural, you know. I was just me doing this project, but there was something about me doing this project that's a little bit more relatable, a little bit more organic than like somebody else who doesn't look like me doing this project. Who else is gonna talk about diversity than people from diverse backgrounds? Like, we're the ones who recognize it, we might as well uh, be the ones to propagate it. At a school where we're, we make up less than 10% of the student body, um, I think it's just a feeling of, do we belong here? Sometimes are we good enough to be here? Um, and to know that the people that came before us might have felt that way at some point and they went on to be Shonda Rhimes and break all these records and excel just gives us the strength to say, hey, you know, that could be us one day too. These people walked through Doheny Library. These people went down, you know, Truesdale. These people probably crashed their bike, you know, on Hoover. Like these people went to my school and they look like me. That's super important and very powerful.